Hey kids, in our previous lecture, we discussed the concept of ratios. We saw that if we are comparing two numbers, then we simplify them to a certain extent until all the common factors between them are cancelled. Well, the terms which we are left with at the end are called or is called a simple whole number ratio. So, let us now take two different quantities and compare them. Let's say I have 18 is to 24 and 27 is to 36. Now, if we compare 18 is to 24, this 18 is to 24 further simplifies because, well, 2 is a common factor between them and so it becomes 9 is to 12. Then again, both these numbers are having common factor 3. So, 9 by 3 will give us 3 and 12 by 3 will give us 4. So, the simple whole number ratio will be 3 is to 4 or we can say that it will be equal to 3 by 4. Now, let's compare or let's simplify this. 27 is to 36. Well, both these numbers, we all know that they comes in the table of 3. So, let's divide them by 3. And this will give us 9 is to 12. Now, you can see that 9 and 12, they, they again are multiples of 3 only. So, we'll again divide both these numbers by 3 and we'll get 3 is to 4 as the final result. Now, you can see that this 3 is to 4 can also be written as 3 by 4, which is exactly similar to this 3 by 4 we obtained previously. Since both these ratios are exactly same, they are known as equivalent ratios. Now, two ratios can only be considered as equivalent ratios if upon simplification, they reduce to a same value. So, this means that if I have four quantities A, B, C and D, such that A by B is equal to C by D, then the ratios A by B and C by D are considered to be equivalent to each other. To determine whether two ratios are equivalent or not, we need to follow some simple steps. Let's now discuss all those. The first step is to write the given ratio in fraction form. So, suppose if you are given A is to B, then you will write this as 18 by 24 or A by B. For the next step, we have to convert the fractions into like fractions by making the denominators equal. So, in this particular step, we will make the denominators equal and to make these denominators equal, we are going to use the LCM method. We are going to find the LCM of both the denominators and then after obtaining that LCM, we will convert the already denominators, already existing denominators into that LCM value. Then again, if the line like fractions are equal, then this will imply that the ratios are equivalent. But if the like fractions that we have obtained are not equal, they will not be equivalent ratios. Chaliye, kaam karte hai, is concept ke upar question discuss karte hai. Question is, are the ratios 2 is to 3 and 3 is to 5 equivalent? Now, yahan pe, as we have already discussed, the first, first step which you are going to do is to convert these ratios into fractional form. So, 2 is to 3 will become 2 by 3 and 3 is to 5 will become 3 by 5. For our next step, we have to make the denominators equal. And I have already told you that to make these denominators equal, we are going to use the LCM method. So, let us first find the LCM of 3 and 5. Now, we know that the LCM of 3 and 5 is equal to 15 because there is no factor common in them and so their LCM will simply be their product. Now, since their LCM is 15, now we will try to make each of these ratios denominator as 15. So, since we have 2 by 3, now to convert this denominator 3 into 15, I will have to multiply 5 in the denominator. And since I am multiplying 5 in the denominator, I will have to do the same with the numerator as well. So, 2 by 3 into 5 by 5 will give us 10 by 15. And if we do the same thing with 3 is to 5, that is 3 by 5, then to make the denominator 5 as 15, we have to multiply it with a 3. Since we are multiplying the denominator by 3, we have to multiply the numerator by same number and so it will be equal to 9 by 15. You can see that 10 by 15 is not equal to 9 by 15. And since both these like fractions are not equal, we can say that 2 is to 3 and 3 is to 5 are not equivalent ratios. 
Let us take one more question. The question is find two equivalent ratios of 9 is to 24. Now here, since we have to find two equivalent ratios of 9 is to 24, all we have to do is to first convert this ratio in its fractional form. So we know that this 9 is to 24 is actually equal to 9 by 24. Now, to find an equivalent ratio, we need to first use the property of equivalent ratios. We know that two ratios can only be equal if all their common factors upon cancelling give us equal ratios. And now here since we are talking about the word common factors, so we can actually use these multiples in fact, not factors, multiples in fact to obtain the same ratio. Here I am having the fraction as 9 by 24 and if I want this 9 by 24 to convert into some other number and still remain 9 by 24, what I'll do, I'll simply make or multiply both numerator and denominator with the same number. So if I multiply 9 by 24 with 2 by 2, I'm going to get 18 upon 48. And let's say if I now multiply 9 by 24 with other number, which will be let's say 3, then 9 into 3 upon 27 into 3 gives us 27 upon 72. Therefore, we can say that upon simplification, this 2 and 2, since it's a common factor, it will cancel each other and give us 9 by 24 again. And similarly, this 3 and 3 will cancel and will give us 9 by 24 again. And so, 18 upon 48 and 27 upon 72 are equivalent ratios of 9 is to 24. And simply by multiplying the given ratio to a common number in its numerator and denominator, we can obtain such ratios. With this, we have come to the end of our today's lecture. But we'll see each other in our next class and talk more about ratios. Until then, keep practicing and have fun. Goodbye, guys.